We've got some Ryzen and Zen leaks, as well as the release of Intel's 8th gen CPUs. Are they any good? Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. It looks like a Spanish website, Informatica Chero, I, I know I butchered that, I am sorry. Either way, they managed to get a pretty interesting slide from inside AMD. At least that's the claim, and if it's true, Intel will certainly have to continue upping their game if they want to come back in the eyes of the consumer. First up is a successor to the current Summage Ridge CPUs, which are codenamed Pinnacle Ridge. Pinnacle Ridge will use a 12 nanometer process from Glowflow, which was announced by AMD at the Global Foundries Technology Conference. It'll use the same Pinnacle Ridge architecture, but will more than likely have higher clocks, as well as better efficiency and yield rates due to said smaller transistors. According to the slide, Pinnacle Ridge will be followed up by Matisse, which will herald in Zen 2, an all new architecture that'll hopefully see a faster Infinity Fabric and who knows what else. It is good to note that even Matisse will run off the AM4 socket, which makes sense given they promise AM4 to last until at least 2020. Next up has Intel officially announcing the release date and pricing of their 8th generation core processors. As previously leaked, the date for the release will be October 5th. That's right in the very short future. I plan on doing some other videos on these processors, but for now, let's just say dual core mainstream CPUs are officially dead. The lower i3 on the list comes with four cores and four threads, and moving up to six cores and 12 threads with the 8700K. Intel is sticking with their K moniker here to signify unlocked multipliers for manual overclocking. So if it doesn't have a K in the name, you can't overclock. I'm going to keep the specs up for you to look at while I discuss this, as they're pretty much what was leaked, so I've discussed it in the past. The real issue here, I think, is the pricing. While I have little doubt Intel's 8th gen CPUs will be great for gamers, the pricing is a little off-putting. You're at least somewhat paying for those added cores. The 8700K is going to come in at $359, which is a nice $20 jump from last year's 7700K's list price of $339. Now. Once the 8700K hits retail, it will probably be more around $400. The top tier i5 is also a little more expensive. Of course, they aren't too bad given the performance increase you should see, but it's still something to think about. Intel claims these will have higher single core performance from KB Lake, so that's something to consider for sure. Really, until we have real world tests, I can't say too much about the new CPUs, besides the fact that the enthusiast 6 core 7800X will almost certainly be dead in the water when these release. So what do you think of today's news? Excited to see what Intel has or waiting more for AMD? Let me know down in the comments below. And while that does it for today, don't forget to check out the GamerMeld Discord server, where we have tons of awesome discussions about all things gaming and hardware. I also just recently updated it to utilize Discord's new categories. So everything is kind of nice and categorized. Definitely check that out in the description below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.